Hello everybody and welcome to the Midnight Game Room. I'm Marty and this is Rad Rogers. This is a game I have been waiting for. I backed it on Kickstarter like a month and a half ago and probably half a month ago they ended up sending out the beta keys and I was in the middle of scary month so I couldn't do anything with it. And because it's not a scary game, it's an awesome game. I mean, listen to that music. That music just makes me, I don't know, punch people, shoot people, maybe not people, maybe enemies, no matter what form they may come in. So as you can probably see, this game is still in beta, so we're going to have to forgive it for any shortcomings it may have. There's graphical glitches or any any weirdness that may happen, but I mean, that's the whole point of doing this beta test stuff is to send feedback to the developers and let them know where things are breaking so that they can fix it. So you may notice it does say continue up there. That's only because I had to start the game in order to make sure everything was going to record and work properly. So uh, it's actually a good thing I did because the game kind of froze my computer solid and I don't know why. So I heard about this game from John St. John when he made a Facebook post about it because he does uh, a voice in the game of the character that Dusty, the uh, the console, and I am really excited to hear what he does in this. I mean, John St. John, the Duke, Duke Nukem. So this game is essentially a reimagining of the old 90s apogee side-scrolling action platformer games like Duke Nukem. So it's going to be interesting to see what they've actually done with it. I mean, obviously the graphics are much better than they were in 1990, but I want to find out if that feeling, that that generally good feeling I used to get from playing these games on my school computers when the teachers weren't looking. Uh, I want to find out if I still get that feeling. So let's dive into this because I'm way too excited to just sit here and keep talking about it. Okay, we've got a hub world. Oh, well, that's cool. They've each got their own... They've each got their own jam. All right, I'm done screwing around. Let's get in with this. In with this. Hey, kid, I said wakey-wakey. It ain't polite to sleep during a cutscene. Huh? A cutscene? Dusty? You're alive? Whoa! What is this place? This is the first world, kiddo. Home to the Elder Tree. Thing is, she stopped taking my calls, and the kids have gone berserk. Let's go pay the old birch a visit, huh? Here, take this. Let's make it dangerous to go alone. Oh, yeah. This thing is huge. So tight. <laughs> Just how I like it. And that, my friend, <laughs> is how you do a cutscene. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Thank you, Dusty. All right, we got a little bit of play in the running. That's cool. There's jump. Ooh, when you fire, the, the controller has force feedback. I like that. I like that. Cool. Secret area. That was your secret. I found it. It's all mine. Oh, that was a that was an extra life. Oh no, there's extra lives in this. So See you'll make cool volcano way back. I do. That is our goal. So let's get cracking. Well, then shouldn't we be going that way? You know, just. Straight through the whole thing? No? Okay. I mean, like, it looks like there's a path that literally leads right there. But I'm going to just run this way to the right. Alright. And we're collecting diamonds. I would have to venture a guess that 100 means another extra life. Oh! Oh. Okay. Oh, neat. I can punch the shit out of people. Come here, bitch. Oh! Whoa! Okay, I can't I can't punch very often apparently. I'll just shoot them. Explode! That's what I'm talking about. What do those little things do? They're filling up a meter. I don't know what's going on. And also Cool. Cool what? Oh, cool. I guess it was cool. I, I don't know why I woke up lying on the ground going, Cutscene? Oh. How the hell do I get up there? 
Can I double jump? I mean, it wouldn't make much sense. I just started the game. Can I, can I jump down here? Smash! Smash, Dusty! Smash! 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 Oh, that's why. Those attacks are really slow. Can I jump down? Okay, no. So I can aim in eight directions if I'm using the D-pad. Oh, but I can aim in 360 if I'm using the analog sticks. Oh, wow, I can actually... Okay, okay. Oh, geez, now I'm going to have to make a choice as to whether or not I want to use the D-pad, which I'm more familiar with with this type of game, or whether I want to try using the analog sticks. But I don't think I can pull the trigger as fast as I can push a button. So I think I'm going to keep pushing the X button for fire. I'm going to have to use the D-pad. I think that's the better solution. Woohoo! Oh shit! Okay, can't... Ooh, can't be in water! Just stop throwing things at me! No, that's enough! I'm not enjoying this. You can't make me enjoy it. Ooh, I'm not into that kind of thing, dude. Uh, it looks like there's stuff below me. Oh, I'm looking for secrets everywhere. I want secrets. Now that I know that there's a secret, like, or not a secret, but I'm assuming multiple secrets, that, why is there a picture of Dusty in my HUD? Like, I mean, there's a picture of Rod Rogers, but there's also, I'm going to have to move my camera for this, which I assume I already did, but right behind him, there's actually a faded out image of Dusty. I wonder if I get to play as him at some point. Jump in, kid! Jump in what? That? That doesn't look safe! I think this guy's trying to kill me! Dusty, you're gonna get me killed. Oh! Well, look at this! I get to play as Dusty now! I was right! Don't touch that, I'm assuming. Ah, the pixel verse, kid. Looks like a glitch. Let's fix this. <laughs> Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. And he interacts with things that are actually in the real... real world. Okay, this is getting interesting. I'm down for this. Is there... did I... oh man, I should have checked that wall the whole way down. See, I don't know about this stuff. I'm, I know I'm gonna have to come back in order to complete these levels. What is that? It's a piece of pizza! With one sl one little itty bitty slice of pepperoni on it. Hey, wait up! I'll pan through the world to show where this will go. <laughs> so cool! Let's find the other. So three. meta! What the fudge? What what use was that? Oh man! Oh, I should have checked that wall. Urgh, let's try it again. Nope, there is nothing there. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Checkpoint. Oh, I'm dumb. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to stop being dumb. And that was dumb. Okay. This time without being stupid. Here we go. Whoa! Rapid fire! Oh, How dude. I, I got a Gatling gun. Look at the pretty colored bar on the side of the gun. <laughs> why, why is it still zoomed in really close? Stop it! Stop it! Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna say I can't kill anybody if all I can see is a foot and a half in front of me. Oh! Okay, so there's spin-up time for this thing. That would have been nice to know. You could have told me about that, Dusty. You son of a bitch. Ah! Stupid thing getting all up in my way. All right, we can do this. This music is awesome. Oh no, I fell off! No! Let me up, let me up, let me up! Yay! I mean, I know it's not of dire importance or anything, but I didn't want to have to wait for that stupidly slow thing to come back. Okay, get more hearts. Kill the squirrels! Kill the squirrels! <laughs> uh, that's mean. I should not be killing the squirrels. Is there somewhere to go down here? Man! Oh, there it is! There's a place. Why are you a good squirrel? Cool. 
Okay, that needs to happen faster. And this is a teeny tiny little house. Well, what can I say? He's got a house. It's all his own. Or her own. It's own. If I say it's, am I being mean? Okay. Gotta get all them jams. Whoa, this gun actually propels me backwards if I jump? Lazy ass developers. They forgot to put a platform here. Come on, let's try to fix it. I will in just a minute, Dusty. Oh. That is cool. The gun feels like it... Secrets! The gun feels like it has so much weight to it. Man, these trees are creeping me out. I'm sorry, like, what is happening here? Your face, my butt. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, right. If they're all pixely, then... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Chill out. You know what this reminds me of? Whoa. This reminds me of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the original one for the NES, where you had to swim through the dam level, all the seaweed and everything. Everyone always thought that was really, really hard, but I mean, the whole, the whole thing about it was just that you just had to switch turtles. Like you do what you can as fast as you can. Um, oh, I don't have rapid fire anymore. You do what you can as fast as you can. And if you start getting low, you switch turtles. And like the whole thing about that was really just um, character management, essentially. It was health management. If you found a place where you could get back all of your get back all of your health for one turtle, then you go and you play through to that point again with another turtle and another turtle, and you can just fill them all back up and keep redoing the levels. But I mean, there was a certain amount of getting good that you had to do. Oh shit. Not like that. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think, for the most part, the upper path is usually... is usually the one that's gonna have the hidden features because you gotta do all the jumpins. Yes! Yes! Look at me go. Alright. This game is awesome! The music is awesome, the gun's awesome. So far, I've only got one upgrade, and that was the... That was the, um... Gatling gun or rapid fire or whatever they're calling it in this But it just feels so good the whole game just sort of flows. Oh, yeah, got it again Come on suckers What? <laughs> Stupid squirrels <laughs> I'm smarter than- OW! Okay. Ow. Halfway there, buddy. Two is half of four! Congratulations, Dusty! You're doing good, bud! You're doing good. Oh, is that the place that I passed by, like, way earlier? Oh, hey, I can go in there. Three squirrel cool. things. Cool! Oh, they're each producing one of these. There we go. Oh, I wonder if there's anything hidden in there. Hang on. No. I just saw the that rock on either side, and I was thinking, you know, maybe there's something hidden right there inside the house. But I guess not. I gotta really... Um, oh, no. Which way am I supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to go to the left, because that was the middle piece between everything. <laughs> Okay, I found a secret area with a free man! I am so good at these games! Look at me go! Yeah, you smart enough or I'll punch you right in the face with a Nintendo. <laughs> that's, that's, that's so stupid. And yet it's so awesome. I love this. This Sometimes game is awesome. I wish we had a pogo stick for these jump puzzles. You mean like DuckTales? Do you mean DuckTales? They had a pogo stick in DuckTales. Scrooge McDuck. This seems like I'm gonna get ambushed. I mean, there's a piece just floating there. 
Just to, oh, there they are. Okay, look at me go. Got them all. <laughs> oh no, they're coming from the other side. I know, I know I missed the piece, but I wanted to get on them little itty bitty purples. Yes, that's three. Three of four. Magic number. That is just one chunk to go. That is not the magic number. I thought he was going to say just. You're three quarters of the way there. <laughs> that three is not the magic number. Four is the magic number because four is the one that opens the door. I'm just. I know there's going to be more secrets. I'm sorry if this is taking so much longer than it should. Like, I should be able to just. Ow! Run through this. But. I don't want to oh, I'm missing it. Oh, I can punch. Yes. Well then, punch the shit out of you, suckers. What did that do? It just. It it it. I don't know what it did. What? Spend it wisely, kid. Spend it on what? I haven't found anything that looks even remotely like a store. Uh, no. No, hang on. Oh, that's the door that he was you talking about do. earlier. Excuse me, this is, I'm gonna pan through the world and... Uh, I was having, like, such a hard time saying this. I'm gonna pan through the world and show you where it's supposed to be. And all that stuff. Yeah, that was here. Ow! Friggin' squirrels! I was chewing all up on my cables. Four exit chunks. Time to okay, get out of hang here. on. I'm going back. I'm going back. There's got to be something. To, I'm. Uh, what? Okay. I probably missed a secret area. Is this a secret area? Are you a secret? Is there any secrets in here? Are you? You're not a secret. I thought you were a secret. You're not. A, okay. All right. I'm leaving. I'm. I'm leaving this level. I'm gonna finish the whole damn thing off. For good. You'll never see me again. Goodbye. Unless I missed a secret. In which case, then you'll see me again. Because I, I know I'm gonna have to... Oh, I missed one diamond? And one secret. And... Earwax? A nuclear explosion? A really mangled goldfish cracker? I'm not sure what that bottom one is, but I missed it. Damn it! And I missed some purple stuff. I wanted the purple stuff. Oh, thank you. I did, I did really well at that. Anyway, guys, that's the first level of Rad Rogers in beta 0 0.2. And I'm really impressed with it. The, the graphics are awesome. The the controls are awesome. They do everything exactly the way you'd want them to and exactly the way you would expect. Um, they've got multiple layouts already just built right into the controller so that you can play whatever way you're comfortable with. It, it, the music is killer. Especially that main menu music was really awesome. Um, the music throughout the levels is really suiting. It, there, so far, I don't have a single complaint about this game. I mean, there's a couple of small graphical things that happened. Like the uh, the squirrels in the houses giving me the diamonds. If I was standing where the diamond was going to be, I noticed it. Did one of them. But, I mean, there was a couple of other small things. But other than that, I mean, like, for the most part, this seems really friggin' polished already. And it's 0 0.2. It's not even... It's not even, well, I, guess, I was going to say it's not even a fifth of the way to being released, but it's exactly a fifth of the way to being released. So I am super excited to keep playing this game with you guys, but I'm going to leave this video here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you poke the like button underneath the video window if you guys have a comment about this game, or if you want to tell me about your favorite retro game and... When I say retro, I mean, you know what? Anything that you played as a kid that really stood out to you, you can go ahead and leave that in the comments box below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribed, and as always, guys, take care, and game on.